Today I'm gonna to be sharing a what I eat in a day on the WW plan. A dirty cold brew today. My little barista, a little veggie plate, three ingredients, air fryer, crunchy chili lime chicken. You can see each layer, the graham cracker crust, the tangy cheesecake, the sweet banana cream. So good. Are you here for your refill? Where's your coffee? Today's your coffee. Okay, you got yours now. I'm gonna make mine. It's coffee time. I have a little bit of cold brew left in my cold brew pitcher. So we are just gonna have a dirty cold brew today, which is just when you add espresso to your cold brew coffee. Then I'm gonna do a splash of almond milk and two tablespoons of my homemade sweet cream coffee creamer, which I've shared numerous times now. I'll just put a link in the description box if you guys want the recipe. <laughs> Are you helping me make coffee? Yeah. She's my little, my little barista. Have you taken over Lila's job of helping mom with coffee in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> Can't forget the ice. And there you have our supercharged cold brew for three points. Laura, are we on a coffee walk? Can you go tears? Can you give me tears? Tears. Tears. Coffee time. Oh, hey guys, good morning. It is so humid out already this morning and it's only like just after 9 a.m. Lila is actually at Vacation Bible School this week. So it's kind of like we're back on our schedule from when she did preschool during the school year. So we dropped sister off this morning and then Nora and I made our coffees and we're out on our walk. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a what I eat in a day on the WW plan. The last video I shared like this with you guys, you really loved me sharing more small meal ideas as well as low point meal ideas and doing a 23 point day and how I would do that if I only had 23 points on the WW plan. My best tips for people who only get a smaller amount of points a day on WW, I believe 23 is the lowest you can have on the plan right now, is to increase the number of meals you get each day. So instead of doing just three big meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, maybe split that up into five or six Six smaller meals include lots and lots of healthy veggies and fruits and lean protein in every meal get those zero point foods in to help round out your meals and your snacks make sure you're drinking enough water and also try to use some zero point beverage options throughout the day so you can mix it up from your water whether that's sparkling water like LaCroix or flavored water drops you can add in which are one of my favorite things to do or even a diet soda here and there sometimes we think we're hungry and really we're just thirsty so making sure you're drinking enough throughout the day is really important like I said earlier that protein Protein every meal really helps keep you full meal to meal and throughout the day. And there's a lot of great protein options out there for zero points. Anyway, sorry, the neighborhood's getting busy. People are heading out to work if you hear all the cars in the background. So I'm gonna go on my walk with Nora and I'll see you guys when we get back for some breakfast and meal one of the day.
from our walk. I was lucky to make it back before Nora fell asleep in the stroller. That would have been a mess for our morning nap. She is not a good transfer baby. So if she falls asleep in the car seat or in the stroller, it's really hard for me to get her down for a regular nap. So luckily I was able to uh, annoy her and tickle her toes a little bit until we got all the way home and I got her put down. Real quick for breakfast, I'm doing a strawberry banana oatmeal. This comes in at only four points on the WW plan. This is a little bit less than what a typical serving of oats would be at only using a third of a cup. However, I bulked it up with all of this fresh fruit. I used half of the banana mashed inside the oatmeal as most of the sweetener. I like sweet oatmeal. So that's why sometimes when I first started WW, I didn't do it a lot because I felt like, you know, one teaspoon of honey was two points. A tablespoon of maple syrup is four points. So learning that you can use mashed banana in place of a sweetener in some breakfast stuff like oatmeal was a game changer for me. So I used half of my banana mashed as the sweetener along with two teaspoons of maple syrup just to get that flavor. That was only two points. The third cup of oats in here was only two points. I used water instead of milk to cook the oatmeal in. But to be honest with the mashed banana, it adds so much creaminess to the oatmeal. Using water to cook it was not a big deal for me. And then I have like a third cup, like just three large strawberries sliced. So I got a couple servings of fruit in there this morning. I love the Trader Joe's rolled oats with ancient grains and seeds blend because it really bulks up your oatmeal. There's tons of fiber in there because it includes not just rolled oats, but also amaranth, quinoa, chia seeds, flax, Anyway, I don't have very long until I need to go get Lila from Vacation Bible School and I need to catch a shower before I go, hopefully while Nora's still napping. So I'm gonna eat breakfast. I've been rehydrating with my big tumbler of ice water. Currently, my goal has been to get at least two of these big 32 ounce containers in and then I also drink additional water, usually with like flavor enhancers or some crystallite lemonade or black unsweetened tea um, throughout the day. So that really helps get my hydration up in addition to the plain water. Mm. Strawberry banana. It reminds me of strawberry banana smoothies. Okay, it's a while later. Last time I checked in, I think I shared breakfast. Nora's having a snack. Um, we did already have lunch. I picked up Lila from Vacation Bible School. We actually stopped at Kroger to get some things so I can make a dessert tonight to share with you guys. When we got home, we did have lunch. Um, I made the girls some sandwiches, and then I, for lunch, actually had some meal preps left in the fridge for this week. I made a big Southwest-style quinoa salad that I added some rotisserie chicken to. I actually shared that full recipe breakdown in my last video, so I'll go ahead and link it in the iCard above if you guys want the step-by-step -step recipe directions for that Southwest quinoa salad. And it came in at only three points on the WW plan. So I still have plenty of points left for the day. I've had coffee, breakfast, lunch. Now we're sitting down and having a little snack. Um, this is again, super low point. I'm just kind of doing a little veggie plate. Um, I have some cherry tomatoes, a cut up baby cucumber and some raw carrots. And then this is just some Bolt House Farms yogurt ranch dressing the classic one. So all of the veggies are zero points. It's two points for two tablespoons of the ranch. So this is a two point snack. I didn't want anything too filling because I'm gonna be getting ready to make dinner in just a little while. Um, once Josh calls to let me know he's on his way home from work, I'll get started on that. After I finish my snack though, I'm gonna get started on that dessert I briefly mentioned. Usually at night, I'm more of a savory person if I'm gonna have a snack after dinner. Um, but one of the most requested things I hear from you guys is we need more dessert ideas. What are some good low point desserts? And I feel like usually when I've given them in the past, they're just like super quick, easy, simple, sweet bites. But today we are making a full on dessert dessert. Like you could make this and serve it at a party. It'll keep in the fridge for the week if you want a piece each night. And it eats like a full dessert, not just like a sweet treat for the end of the evening. Tonight's dessert is going to be skinny five layer banana cream cheesecake bars. For this recipe, you need a nine by 13 dish that's greased. And our first layer is going to be made of graham crackers. So using six whole graham crackers, you're gonna split them in half so you have graham cracker squares. Layer them up on the bottom. Layer two is a tangy zero point cheesecake. To make this layer, we're going to whisk up three eggs. Add in some vanilla extract as well as three cups of plain nonfat Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. 
And then we're adding a whole package of the Jell-O sugar-free cheesecake pudding. Stir that really well into all of the pudding mix is incorporated in well. You don't want a gritty texture, so stir, stir, stir. And then the easiest way I found to layer this was to add dollops all over the graham cracker base and then slowly starting in the middle, work my way towards all the edges and corners, spreading the cheesecake batter into a smooth, even layer. This is getting baked at 350 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. It'll be done when it's starting to just brown around the edges. You get a couple cracks maybe in the layer and it has a slight jiggle to it, but it's all firm. We're gonna set this to the side and let it cool down for a bit before we add layers three, four, and five. As I let my cheesecake layer cool, I'm getting started on dinner for tonight for Josh and I. This super simple three ingredient air fryer crunchy chili lime chicken is one of our favorite go-to easy weeknight meals. I start with two chicken breasts that have been rinsed and patted dry. We're gonna give those a quick season with some Kinder's blend seasoning, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. Then I'm adding about two tablespoons of plain non-fat Greek yogurt onto each filet, spreading that evenly all over the chicken breast. This is gonna be our binder for our crunchy coating that's going on top. The Greek yogurt melts right into the chicken and helps keep it moist and juicy in the air fryer. For the crunchy coating, I'm using the Trader Joe's rolled corn tortilla chips in the chili lime flavor. You could easily swap this out for any other flavored tortilla chip or even Doritos, but these are our favorite. They're nice and spicy, but they have a great tang from that lime part of the seasoning. So I took one serving, which is 15 of these tortilla chips, added them to a small sandwich size baggie. So once they've been pounded out and crushed up, I divide the crunchy coating between the two chicken breasts and then just kind of help spread them out and pat them into the Greek yogurt, getting them stuck down well. I add the chicken breasts to the air fryer basket and air fry at 400 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. This will depend on the size of your chicken breasts. I served it with a simple side of green beans that had some can't believe it's not butter spray on it and some salt and some simple sweet potato fries. And this entire hearty dinner dish comes in at only seven points on the WW plan. A little while later, we have finished dinner and I am going back to the dessert. So we already baked off layers one and two, which is the graham cracker crust along with the layer of cheesecake. It's been sitting and cooling just on top of the stove for probably like an hour and a half now. I wanted to let it cool enough so that it won't melt the pudding layer that we're putting on next. For the pudding layer, we are going to be using one pack of banana cream flavored sugar-free jello pudding mix, and we're combining it with some unsweetened almond milk. First, we're gonna mix one cup of milk in with the whole packet of mix, stir that and whip it good for at least a minute, and then we'll add the last quarter of a cup, do a gentle stir in, and then we need to let it set up in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So it doesn't quite come together instantly as easily as using dairy milk. Once the pudding has set up a bit, I'm adding that as layer number three on top of our cheesecake layer. Again, adding it to the center and using a spatula to spread it out towards all of the sides and into the corners. Once we have a nice even layer, I'm taking my fat-free whipped topping, which I had sitting in the refrigerator to thaw for the last hour. Again, use the dollop method add some dollops and then slowly from the center, work your way outwards so you get a nice even layer. And our final layer five are some slices of fresh banana. It took me about one and a half bananas to cover the entire nine by 13 pan top with slices. This decadent yet skinny dessert comes in at only four points a serving on the WW plan and it makes 12 servings. And there she is, our skinny banana cream cheesecake five layer bars. You can see each layer, the graham cracker crust, the tangy cheesecake, the sweet banana cream, whipped cream, and fresh bananas on top. I can't wait to dig into this. I probably could have put it back in the fridge to like set up just a little bit more. The layers are kind of melting together, but hey, I'm impatient and this looks yummy and we've waited long enough. I was trying to get like the perfect bite with a little bit of everything. So good.
the cheesecake part came out actually really good. Like I would make that layer on top of the graham crackers on its own. If you're not a big banana person, do that and maybe swap out and put some like cherry pie filling topping on top. And that alone is another great dessert option. The tang of the yogurt definitely pulls through in the cheesecake. It has a nice texture. And the banana pudding, it's so sweet. It's so tasty. I will say I sometimes get a sensitivity to sugar-free products. Although I've never had an issue with the Jello sugar free pudding mixes so this I'm confident I'll be fine with although if you do have any sensitivity to sugar free items this does use a couple of them so maybe substitute out for something you know you can handle and adjust the points as you need but this is it's so good it's worth it Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my What I Eat in a Day 23 points on the WW plan. I hope you enjoyed following along my day of eating. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like it, please hit the like button and make sure you hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos. And until next time, bye.